This video sequence shows the simple initial operation of the W Trans system. The first part demonstrates the initial operation by using the keyboard of the receiver. For comparison, the second part shows the initial operation by means of the optional configuration program. We act on the following assumption. Two wireless transmitters are equipped with a battery and measure the temperature at a rotating part of the system. The wireless transmitters are within the operating distance of a receiver. The antenna is mounted to the receiver. Both temperatures shall be shown on the display and put out a standard signal. The receiver has 16 channels. At the beginning we allocate the measuring values of the two wireless transmitters to the channels 1 and 2. In the startup level each channel shows those wireless transmitters which are not yet linked to the receiver unit. By pressing the left arrow key longer than 2 seconds you get access to the startup level. The first channel is displayed. Please select P and you reach the link list. The numbers which appear now are the IDs which are laser printed on the protection tubes. We select the ID 768. The measuring value of the relevant transmitter is now displayed in channel number 1. The second temperature value is allocated to channel number 2 in a similar manner. The transmitter gets ID 721. After pressing the left arrow key for at least two seconds, we get back to the standard display again. The temperature signals of both channels are displayed. Further configuration steps are realized in the parameter level. We reach the parameter level by pressing the P key for at least 2 seconds. Factory made the analog outputs 1 and 2 provide the measuring values of the channels 1 and 2. Output is made as standard signal 0 to 20 mA, which corresponds to a temperature of minus 30 to 260 centigrade. In our example, we will realize that the signals are provided as 4 to 20 mA signals, that means 0 to 80 centigrade. In the parameter level we select output number 1 and make the relevant adjustments. Signal 4 to 20 mA, 0, 0.0 and final value 80 centigrade. For our example, the same adjustments should be made for analog output number 2. We go back to the standard display.
the two temperatures are immediately available as current signals at the outputs 1 and 2. For comparison we now demonstrate the initial operation by means of the configuration program. You can download a free 30-day version of the configuration program from our website www.yumo.net under support. After these 30 days you need a license number with costs. For this license number please contact our sales staff. Besides the configuration program you need the PC interface with adapter. The PC interface is available for USB interface as well. After the software is started, please define the receiver. Please keep the defaults of the assistant for setting devices. If you do not work with the serial interface number 1 of the PC, please put in the relevant number at the place indicated. Due to the definition, the receiver is now registered in the device list. Now we define the transmitter. The CUM number must be defined as for the receiver. Due to this definition, the transmitter is registered in the device list. Now we connect the PC with the receiver using the PC interface and the adapter. We select new file and automatic recognition. The device list refers to the receiver unit. Now we select Binding. The IDs of the two transmitter units are defined in channel 1 and 2. The adjustments for the two analog signals are made in the menu Analog Outputs. Finally, the configuration is transmitted to the receiver. Now the connection to the receiver is disconnected. Both transmitter units transmit the measuring value to the receiver every 10 seconds. In most of the cases, it is not necessary to change the adjustments for the transmitters. However, if the configuration shall be modified, the PC interface must be connected to the first transmitter unit. In our example, this unit has the ID 768. Please enter the configuration program. Select the first transmitter and realize the connection. We transmit data from the transmitter to the setup program.
In our example, the transmitter shall send a value every 20 seconds. Now we transfer the data to the transmitter unit. Disconnect and if requested we can now save the project. This video sequence shows the simple initial operation